The main goal of this playthrough is to get to 1 million caps legitimately, without cheats, mods or glitches, with the exception of the companion unlimited carrying weight glitch. And we are going to do all this in survival mode. This is Baron Wofet and this is the story. Our starting point for today is 163,000 caps, 7 settlements, a little bit less than 5,000 purify waters and a total melon production of 856. Today's goal is going to be to build 4 adhesive farms. This allows you to not only use adhesive for weapon mods as well as actually selling the adhesive you produce. Additionally, you can also use adhesive farms as XP farms because each time you produce vegetable starch, you also gain some experience. You are going to find 4 settlements with decent space to generate the components of vegetable starch. These components include corn, potato, meat fruit and purified water. We are aiming for at least 100 water production in these settlements and a balanced production of each vegetable component to the best of our ability. We can also sell the excess mute fruit to Supervisor Brown at Grey Garden and the excess Tato to Bill in Warwick Homestead, which in both cases we're getting 2 caps per vegetable. Our 4 DZ farms are going to be located in Overland Station, Deffington Boathouse, County Crossing and Hangman's Alley. The first step, of course, was to get access to all our four settlement workshops. Overland Station was a lie to us, so no trouble there. We got County Crossing by solving their problems with a few super mutants that apparently were located in the other end of the map. Finally, we got Teffington Boathouse and Hangman's Alley by cleaning up those settlements from the original occupants. In every settlement, we scrapped everything we got our hands on and added basic conditions, which include shelter, beds, defense, and a minimum of 100 water production, either through powered water pumps or industrial water purifiers whenever we had water nearby. Finally, we added our crops. We started with 12 mute fruits, 24 potatoes, and 24 corn, because for this we needed 2 settlers per crop type. After going around the settlements for a bit of time, we were able to double our production per settlement, maintaining this ratio. However, in the end, I found that, for some reason, the settlers tend to consume more potatoes than the remaining crops. Which I don't really understand, considering that it's a metated combination of a potato and a tomato, which doesn't sound very appealing. Anyway, when trying to cook vegetable starch, our production is kind of unbalanced, so I advise you to be aware of this early on when you build your own Adizi farms. The extra settles that I was able to recruit were assigned to 3 trading stands on each one of the settlements, which considering our total population across settlements is enough for us to get our 50 caps a day per settlement. We also added one scavenger station to each settlement and assigned one settler to be our scavenger to slightly increase our overall scrap. With just our first few patches of purified water, mute fruit, potato and corn, we were able to level up to level 50 by just cooking vegetable starch. After creating a bunch of vegetable starch, we were able to scrap it to get adhesive and then sell the adhesive for 6 caps each. Additionally, the extra mute fruit was sold to Supervisor Brown at Grey Gardener for 2 caps each. Because of the unbalanced production, however, we weren't able to sell any potato because it was always the bottleneck of the production. Although I was able to level up using the DC farm as an XP farm, it's much more effective if you do it early on in the playthrough, because the amount of XP that you need to level up is much lower in that case. Using our newly added DC farms and the previous strategies that we talked in the previous episodes, we were able to make a lot of caps today. Wrapping up with 275,000 caps, 4 new settlements for a total of 11, 2,370 purified water, and our produce include our total melon production of 894, our corn and potato production of 192, and our total meat fruit production of 84. By this point, we have so many caps, we could buy 40 big boys for our settlers, equip two full settlements with mini nukes and start a goddamn war. 
However, we are still a long way to go to get to 1 million caps. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future episodes and I really hope you have a nice week. See you later.